The night was heavy with an eerie silence as Emily sat alone in her dimly lit living room. The clock on the wall ticked away the seconds, creating a rhythmic melody that echoed in the stillness of the house. Rain tapped lightly on the window panes, adding an ominous undertone to the atmosphere. Emily's unease grew with each passing moment, her senses heightened by the uneasy feeling that lingered in the air. Suddenly, the shrill ring of the telephone shattered the quietude, causing Emily to jump. The sound echoed through the room, disrupting the tranquility of the night. She hesitated before picking up the receiver, her hand trembling slightly as she brought it to her ear. Hello? Emily's voice wavered. A distorted, almost otherworldly voice replied, Emily, it's you. It's you from the future. Listen carefully. You're in danger. Emily's heart pounded in her chest as she struggled to comprehend the bizarre statement. What? Who is this? What are you talking about? I don't have much time. There's a killer on the way to your house right now. You need to leave. You need to run. The voice surged urgently. A cold shiver ran down Emily's spine. The room seemed to close in around her, and the shadows danced menacingly. This can't be real. How do I know you're not just playing a sick prank? The voice on the other end spoke with an urgency that sent chills down Emily's spine. I know things only you would know. I know about the locket your grandmother gave you, the one with the faded picture inside. I know about the scar on your ankle from that childhood accident. I know everything, Emily. You need to trust me. Emily's mind raced, her thoughts a chaotic whirlwind of fear and disbelief. Clutching the phone tightly, she stammered, Okay, fine. If you're really me from the future, how do I escape? Where do I go? The voice provided specific instructions, detailing a convoluted route that led through back alleys and deserted streets. Emily, fueled by a mix of fear and desperation, followed the directions meticulously. As she ventured into the desolate night, the rain intensified, drenching her to the bone. The ominous voice guided her through the darkness, predicting every twist and turn as if it had intimate knowledge of the impending danger. Emily's breaths came in short gasps, her heart pounding in her ears. She began to question the sanity of her actions, wondering if she was being led into a trap. After what felt like an eternity, Emily found herself in a secluded alley, surrounded by towering buildings that seemed to loom over her like malevolent giants. The voice on the phone whispered, You're almost there. Just a little further. There's a door on your left. Go inside and hide. Don't make a sound. As Emily cautiously opened the creaking door, the air inside felt heavy with foreboding. She found herself in an abandoned warehouse, the only light emanating from a distant flickering bulb. The silence was deafening, broken only by the distant rumble of thunder. Suddenly, Emily heard footsteps approaching, echoing through the cavernous space. Panic set in as she pressed herself against the cold, damp wall, praying that the voice on the phone had led her to safety. The footsteps grew louder, closer, and then stopped just outside the door. Emily's breath caught in her throat as the door slowly creaked open. A figure emerged from the shadows, wearing a hooded cloak that concealed their features. The air grew tense, and time seemed to stand still. As the hooded figure stepped into the feeble light, Emily gasped in horror. It was her, a twisted version of herself, eyes devoid of humanity and a malevolent grin stretching across her face. The voice on the phone spoke again, this time emanating from the doppelganger. Congratulations, Emily. You've successfully escaped the inevitable. But remember, fate is relentless. This is only the beginning. The chilling laughter of the doppelganger echoed through the empty warehouse as Emily's world descended into darkness. The realization dawned on her that the voice on the phone was not a warning but a macabre guide, leading her not away from danger but directly into the clutches of her own nightmarish destiny. The hooded doppelganger circled Emily with an unnerving grace, the malevolent laughter echoing off the walls. Panic gripped her as she realized there was no escape, no way to outrun the twisted fate that seemed to be closing in on her. The air thickened with a sinister energy as the doppelganger spoke with a voice that seemed to come from the depths of a nightmarish abyss. Did you really think you could escape the inevitable, Emily? Fate has a way of catching up, no matter how fast you run. Emily, paralyzed with fear, tried to speak but found her voice caught in her throat. The doppelganger leaned in, its eyes boring into hers with a malevolent intensity. You see, I am you, or rather, what you will become. A darkness within, waiting to be unleashed. The hooded figure reached into the folds of its cloak and produced a sinister-looking blade. The cold steel glinted in the dim light, sending shivers down Emily's spine. As the doppelganger approached, the laughter grew louder, more maniacal. In a desperate attempt to break free from the impending horror, Emily summoned the last shreds of courage within her. Why? What do you want? The doppelganger paused, the twisted grin widening. 
I am the embodiment of your darkest desires, your hidden fears, your suppressed rage. I exist because you deny the shadows within yourself. You can't escape me, Emily. Embrace the darkness, for it is your true nature. With a sudden, swift movement, the doppelganger lunged at Emily with the gleaming blade. She stumbled backward, narrowly avoiding the lethal strike. The warehouse seemed to warp and twist, the walls closing in on her like a malevolent force of its own. Desperation fueled Emily's survival instinct as she darted through the maze of crates and discarded machinery. The echoing laughter followed her, bouncing off the walls like a haunting melody. She could feel the oppressive darkness closing in, threatening to consume her whole. As Emily reached a dead end, she turned to face her doppelganger, who stood with an unholy calmness. The blade glinted in the dim light, reflecting the twisted satisfaction in the doppelganger's eyes. You can't escape yourself, Emily. Embrace the darkness within, and this nightmare will end, the doppelganger whispered, its voice a haunting echo. Driven by a surge of defiance, Emily refused to surrender to the shadows. Instead, she summoned an inner strength she never knew existed. In that moment, a blinding light enveloped her, dispelling the oppressive darkness that clung to her soul. The doppelganger recoiled, its malevolent presence waning. As the light intensified, the warehouse around them seemed to unravel, revealing a surreal, ethereal realm beyond. Emily stood at the precipice, teetering between her own darkness and the radiant light. With a final, guttural scream, the doppelganger disintegrated into shadows, consumed by the very darkness it embodied. The blinding light receded, leaving Emily standing alone in the eerie silence of the warehouse, drenched and trembling. The rain outside had subsided, and a hesitant dawn began to break on the horizon. Emily, changed by the harrowing ordeal, emerged from the abandoned warehouse with a newfound understanding. The twisted fate that had sought her was an integral part of her, a shadow she needed to confront rather than flee. As she walked away from the nightmare that unfolded, Emily realized that the true horror was not the doppelganger or the ominous voice on the phone. It was the recognition that darkness existed within, and confronting it was the only way to prevent the nightmares of the future from becoming a haunting reality. The following days were a tumultuous journey for Emily as she grappled with the profound revelations from that fateful night. The echoes of her encounter with the doppelganger lingered in the recesses of her mind, a constant reminder of the dual nature within her. Struggling to make sense of it all, she delved into the mysteries of her own psyche, seeking understanding and redemption. Haunted by the malevolent laughter and the cryptic guidance that had led her astray, Emily embarked on a quest to untangle the threads of her own darkness. She sought solace in therapy, confiding in a counselor about the unnerving events that had transpired. The therapeutic sessions became a lifeline, helping her navigate the labyrinth of her own emotions and confront the buried traumas that had given rise to the doppelganger. In the process of self-discovery, Emily found unexpected allies among friends and family who offered support and understanding. As she confronted the shadows within, she discovered resilience and strength she never knew she possessed. The journey became a transformative experience, a rebirth from the ashes of her own fears. The mysterious phone call, once a harbinger of dread, became a catalyst for Emily's personal growth. No longer did she view it as a curse, but as a pivotal moment that forced her to confront the complexities of her own soul. The fear that had gripped her had transformed into a source of empowerment. Years passed, and Emily emerged from the ordeal stronger, wiser, and more attuned to the delicate balance between light and darkness within. The nightmares that had plagued her gradually faded, replaced by a newfound sense of purpose and self-acceptance. Yet, the enigmatic nature of that night lingered in the background, a reminder that the supernatural and the human psyche are intertwined in ways beyond comprehension. Emily continued to navigate the complexities of life, always mindful of the shadows but determined to walk in the light. As the rain tapped gently on her window one quiet evening, Emily reflected on the journey that had led her to this moment. She knew that the darkness within could never be completely eradicated, but she had learned to coexist with it, finding a delicate equilibrium that allowed her to embrace the complexity of her own humanity. The phone, now a mundane device that connected her with loved ones and friends, remained silent and unassuming. The ominous voice had long vanished, leaving behind only the whispers of the past. Emily, having faced her own personal demons, had forged a new path forward. The echoes of the horror story that unfolded that night were buried in the annals of her past, a chapter closed but never forgotten. For Emily, the real terror had been the journey into herself, and the triumph lay in emerging from the abyss with newfound strength and resilience. 
like, subscribe, and click on notifications that will allow you to stay up to date with the news and not miss videos from the channel, where there will be many more horror stories.